What are we doing here? You know, I think we're going back to the future. Cool. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Joke City 23. Awesome. So we're playing Back to the Future. Again, because I fucked up the recording the first time. You know what? It happens. <laughs> Life happens. We just... It happens way more often than it should. It, it really does. No, like that's a real, real statement right there. So you played it the first time. I did. But I feel bad making you play again, so I'm playing it the second time. Good. Good. Hopefully it, was, it took us two and a half hours the first time. Um, sure. Sure. But, you know, I forgot what I said already. It took us two and a half hours the first time. Maybe right. it won't take us nearly as long. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm ready. So last time you were telling me that this is like... I'm standing on Better, the like the fourth, this is considered the fourth Saturday Back to the Future. Yeah, by like the fans, because this is better than the third movie. This is okay, Experiment okay. Number one. Like you played, you played the episode already, so. Yes. It is, yes, it it's is. It's really. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty, like, I like it. I like where they're going with it. And now all the episodes combined make the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Like they all directly connect to each other. Telltale style. Okay. okay. Hmm. So, I'm, I'm going to repeat a lot of things I said in the first time I recorded this. Of course. So yeah, this is just a repeat of... The yeah. first movie. Got it. Yeah, this part right here. Done in the style of the game. The weird cell shaded. Not me. The car. Yeah. The car. I mean, it's pretty good, though. Oh. Well, that's not what you said the first time. The first I time know. you said, man, first, I hate these character models. The, the first time I was not a fan. I gotta admit, I don't like the way Doc's mouth moves. Like, look at that. He's just... <laughs> I mean, it's close. It's closer than some games. Yeah, okay, yes. Closer than some, but I feel like they over-accentuate his, uh, his facial muscles when he's moving. I don't know. Also, the balls on Marty. For just standing there, not, not moving... Recording the whole time? It's like, am I going to record my own snuff film? What's happening? Yeah, this is, this is it. This is the end. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. So this game did come out like 2008 or 2010 or something. Jesus. Hot Jesus Christ. Oh, me too. Jesus Christ, Doc. Disintegrated Einstein. <laughs> huh. So I mean, it was before they got into like the really good facial yeah. mapping on things. Was this when everything was hand? Uh, it might have been hand animated. Okay. Well, like, not hand hand animated, but, but, but yeah. Like, they actually went the, into the, the model maker the and moved, the, moved the mouth in response the to the voice acting. One yeah. minute into huh. the future, to be exact. And it precisely I mean, I gotta give him props for that, because I know how hard that is. Catch up with him and the time yeah. machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Out of a DeLorean? <laughs> the way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some stuff? Why do you have put into a car? Stainless steel you know, made the flux dispersal. you got to go somewhere. Look out! And then nothing happens. And then nothing happens for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Doc? Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? Should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Now I wonder if there's a, if we count it was actually 27 seconds. No need. Like if we were oh, like if we actually timed this. We should have. I mean I could do that in editing. Yeah, and then yeah have a nice little timer going. Better be. Like starting from the moment he says look out. <laughs> uh. So oh, yeah. now I need to learn the actual controls. You don't remember. You don't learn the run until after yeah. you make it. Notebook. What button was run? Uh, B. B. Cool. Yeah. Flux capacitor. That's it. What the heck's a flux capacitor? Did he, he didn't even use the notebook in this episode. In this notebook, yeah. I've it makes me really upset because it's, it's very apparent to get it. Time yeah. Okay. I mean, there's still the four more episodes to go. Well, it's, it's, it's mass equals high time. So, so this is in the yeah, way it happens. Something's 
way off here. This isn't how the thing happened the first time, even though this wasn't the thing that he would remember happening the first time because right. it hasn't happened yet. Wait, what? This isn't uh, quite going as planned as the makers have made it. Uh, Doc? This isn't what happened in the movie at all. <laughs> oh. Great Scott! So, in the movies, like you saw the sign flicker there from it, one from Twin Pines to Lone Pine. Uh, okay. In the movies, when they went back in time, there were two trees and they knocked one down with a car. So the so, <laughs> mall became the Lone Pine Mall instead of the Twin Pine Mall. Because there wasn't a Twin Pine like, Right, at the beginning of the movie it's Twin Pine, but then later in the movie it just becomes the Lone Pine Mall. And no one says anything about it in the movie. It's just something you see. <laughs> and it's one of the like really f cool Easter eggs that they put in the movie. I like it. Why so the entire thing was just a is dream sequence. Okay? Yeah, he was just dreaming, which is yeah, really Mom, weird. I, it was, because it was just a nightmare. Uh, it's supposed to be setting up path. foreshadowing of you messing up the time stream, time stream again. But because it's Back to the Future. Yeah. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in nowhere in this. Do they have like the mystical element but that would get up. follow that? Yeah, make have you. that oh, makes huh? sense. Okay. Like in Doctor Who, they sort of have a slight oh, mystical oh, element mm -hmm. involving fate, so people can have prophetic dreams and stuff. Oh, but this is. But just... this doesn't have that. <laughs> it was just like, hey, here's this scene. Right. There's no. There's no mysticism, so there's no reason for him to have a prophetic dream. <laughs> it's like the only real issue I have with the game generally is that is the dream sequence at the beginning. Huh. Because there's no. It's a good introduction. Yeah. And you can chalk it up to him just having a stress dream. But I, it's odd. Yeah, like, I see that it would be. The contents of the dream doesn't make sense for it to be a stress on. dream. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean... It makes sense for a foreshadowing thing, but not as a stress dream. But it's, it's a minor complaint and super nitpicky just because I like psychology stuff. But <laughs> Huh. Well, interesting. I mean, couldn't a stress be dream be literally anything? They normally have something to do with what you're stressing over. So, like, he's stressing over Doc not being there. And him having to go back to his normal boring life because of it, pretty much. Ah. But, so, it makes sense to have a stress dream about Doc. But why would he have a stress dream about that instance and then the time machine not working and then time exploding because of it? There wouldn't, there's no real reason to have that type of stress dream. Better okay. late than never. You wouldn't believe also, where do these other people go? Stuff there is yeah, they just here. leave. Doc stuff. The city has like no that lady like, back well, there? Yeah, but we played this episode the first time. They weren't there. Huh. And the city really huh. It's so, like, I just realized that they're not, not there in the background <laughs> once we start <laughs> playing. It's just not fair. Okay, well, these there's Biff back there. Worse. Right, Biff stays there, obviously. Hey, Marty. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. Hmm. Okay, so this make sure you didn't leave anything dangerous. So should we explore a bit, like we did before, or just splits through it? I mean, I want to try the other way. Obviously we'll do the other yeah. things. I want to try but the... should we... Let's explore. Let's, let's explore a little. Stuff. Now that we actually have control. Yeah, the, the first time we were, uh, we were just sort of trying to figure out how it all worked using a keyboard when we had hey, a controller plugged in. Leave me alone. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is that time for him. we had to oh, use sure. the mouse to select Sorry, dialogue buddy. options, but we had to use the keyboard to actually select it. Like the mouse would mouse over which one we wanted, but, you couldn't but we had to hit it. enter to actually select it. It was... It's very interesting. Yeah, it was, didn't make much sense. We also yeah, forgot private. that there was a controller plugged in. So we didn't even think of that as an option. Right. For Until about what? <laughs> Until we got to the car? Yeah. What? <laughs> it like wasn't until after this area that we realized, oh yeah, I can just click and thing. I'm like, oh wait, I had a pro controller plugged in in case we played a different game. Oops. <laughs> Oops, indeed. So we're looking for the for dangerous like stuff, right? Yeah. Rod. I mean, Maybe the dangerous stuff is the notebook. Well, yeah, but we're looking. So electrical equipment. Oh, look, an electric power, a lightning powered 
Um, Pencil sharpener, right. <laughs> hey, Biff. Fuck you. Fuck you, Biff. <laughs> Biff, you can't just be drinking. Hey, let me try, Marty. Fuck you, Biff. Now, it's the Biff, 80s. He can do what he let wants. Marty have his yeah, turn. Yeah, you're right. You got it, Mr. McFly. What? Dad, let me handle my own things. What's that? Doc must have whipped up <laughs> some crazy <laughs> compounds in that cauldron. Oh, it's the cauldron. It's the, oh, like they have all still. the pieces. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then where's the pressure? Right oh. here. Oh, that the cauldron was the no, pressure. No scientific. It's right this. Well, oh. Wasn't poison gas or anything. <laughs> you should probably think about that before you turn the handle. No, honestly, he's not the brightest. So like everything in this room, will end up seeing when we go back to the past future. But, yeah, it, like, and we'll I'll point those out when we reach that point in the game again. But us as people who already played this, remember yeah, us. we're we're seeing a lot of things that we didn't like. I we I made a note on the electric, the lightning powered pencil yeah. sharpener, but the other things were also there. The vat was the, the droplet or the if you can head over to town. No, the vat was the those things right next to it were as well. It was, I can't select those. Yeah, but it was what the it was dripping into. Right, this was pressure thing. This we haven't seen yet. That's, we haven't. Right, the mind this, reading helmet. I think is zero two or four. I think we see it. Well, Doc let's continue. Yeah, we saw Biff wearing it. Well, no, well, I finished the entire Doc game. The courthouse even works. And you know that. So I know everything. Is that I like how the there? clock is hey, just a watch. Just like yeah. The courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. What? I don't even... I don't even know. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? Haha, <laughs> so clever, Beth. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Biff's just an asshole. Uh, he is. Oh, wow. Like, that's his entire Look character arc. Here. I don't know why you ever would think you like get something by just something. asking. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. <laughs> uh, again, that sounds so painful. <laughs> oh, it really does. But this looks like it might it's be like, worth Oh, it's a catheter. Not why is it glowing? Why? <laughs> shouldn't be fluctuating. Okay, so I'll just sort of... We're going to try to get the jukebox version. Yes. But first things first, we need to tell... Tell... Why is my guitar in there? <laughs> well, we still need the eye. I think we can plug it into the jukebox, maybe. Oh. I don't know. First of all, why is hey, my Dad, guitar here? Why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry. Uh, uh, sweating bullets. Uh, um, like, oh just shit. Pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. I said this in the first uh, first time we played this, but yeah, his dad looks super high all the time. Honestly, just stoned out of his mind. Look at him. Hey, Dad. Uh, yes. Yeah. Son. <laughs> like his eyelids are always half closed. It's like, yeah, has like that permanent <laughs> smile on his face. It's like, oh man, uh, this is your guitar. You, th I remember buying it for you too. That's weird. <laughs> I think that makes that it my guitar. Dad, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. It's like, I've been look at that. Honestly, Believe they just made his eyes super him. red. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like, you can't unsee you can. that. You really can't. Okay, like, so I didn't notice it the first time I until you it. said it, but now I can't you know not see it. Well, you're too focused on playing the game the first time. You're like, what's happening? Oh, that's true. I was rather Keep looking confused. around. Thanks, Dad. Okay. And that's also something you said after the video. It's like, it's a lot harder to commentate and keep track of what's happening. Yes. Like, there was so much going on and so much you have to pay attention to. And then trying to comment about everything while paying attention to it. Uh, how do I use X? That? A. Or A. A. Oh. That would be X on the PlayStation controller. Ah. Uh, jukebox? Nah. Nah? Nah. Fine, fuck you. Hey, Wait, Bifferoni. What? That was less interesting. That was less interesting. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. So I guess he did use a mind reading helmet in one of the Back to the Future episodes, okay. movies. In the movies. I don't. I probably should have watched the movies over again before <laughs> playing this game. Hey, don't 
cut off my music? Oh. You know, I thought that we could. It was the much, first time. Hey, don't cut off my how music. How much money? Do I was about have? to say, how much money do I have in my pocket? But um, the first time he put down hey, the thing. Yeah. So none of these do anything. No, yeah, none of they're I, all. None of them are particularly funny either, so I don't really care. Okay, uh, never mind. But I want to find if there's another way to do this, because I always do the same yeah. thing. But like, the first maybe if the first time we did it, we already talked to the dad. No, because well. When you view the jukebox, he just pushes you out of the way, and then his dad goes, "Oh, Biff, be nice," hmm. and nothing happens either way. And I can't plug in my. Hmm. Maybe you have to use the guitar. Maybe it's like I thought there was another way to do it. I feel like there should be another way. To there do really it. should. I mean, this one's it's pretty a... pretty blatant, though. Yeah. Let's make some noise. Like, they really want you to do this one? As I said the first time I recorded this, what's the most, the most prominent thing yeah. on the screen right now? <laughs> it was like, oh. The amplifier. <laughs> if only there was some way to use it. So it's X to open the inventory screen. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Okay. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. Mr. Opportunity, <laughs> oldie but a goldie. Hey, look, it's Chuck yeah, Butthead. Seriously. Chuck Butthead. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. How angry is that? Gets... Right. But you told him Not... I can fight my own battles. Yep. Otherwise, he'd stop this from happening. Which is why I just did that first. No, why yeah. we blow the lid off this joint? Save time. Whatever you say. I'm really disappointed we couldn't do this a different way. Right? Because the first time I was just like, hey, you put the thing down. Rock on, Biff. It's weird. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I like how they never actually say it. Oh, uh, they, they do. Later on. Oh, okay. When they do the thing. Oh, that I don't want to spoil it. Where are Got you? Got it. Got it. <laughs> and conveniently, the exact moment you get to the notebook, the right? DeLorean shows up. It's, very, it's timed. Doc's taking careful notes of everything. <laughs> Except that doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, it actually doesn't make sense because he set the thing for this specific time. But he doesn't know to do that. Doc? Yet. When he set it. Yet. When he set it. He can set things again. But no, he set that already with information <laughs> not... Not this information available. <laughs> well, I mean, there are some plot holes. There is probably going to be a lot of plot holes. It's an 80s movie Einstein. about time travel. This is going to be plot holes. Oh boy, didn't you bring Doc with you? All right, this was this was a pain in the ass because I was controlling the mouse. Yeah, it's like go click on the shoe. No, that's the flux capacitor. God <laughs> damn it! That's the that's the engine. That's the start. It was the fuck's Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Why'd you bring it so close to your face when you said that? And then where does he put it? He just shoves it in his little vest thing. He's a video game character. They have uh, in infinite pockets. Uh, hammer Dimension. Uh, Do you know about the Hammer Dimension? Automatic uh, Retrieval? It comes from... We're just talking all over this, whatever. There's some kind of... <laughs> It's the dimension that video game characters have where they just put any item into and then pull it out whenever they want. Because he also put the guitar on there. That's true. He, it's hmm. like, it comes, it might come from the original Mario, where Donkey Kong, I guess, and he had the hammer, but it's like, where is he holding that? <laughs> you know, just sort of pulls it out of nowhere. Okay. And then, like, um, Amy Rose from Sonic Games, she has she that the hammer, she just... She, her outfit doesn't even have pockets. And she just she just pulls it out of nowhere, it? and it's bigger than her body. Huh. Okay. It's like it's the hammer dimension. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Right. Right. Last time departed. Now it makes departed. sense. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you could just say bag of holding because we played the. That's where I thought you were going the first time. Crap. Oh great. How am I supposed to find him now? Uh, I guess something broke. Um, oh right. Did I? 
I got it, okay. Yeah, you got the recorder, you got the shoe. Right. So it was around this point we realized the controller was plugged in, I think. Mm-hmm. It was exactly during this part. So at this point, you spent about five minutes walking around. Maybe not five minutes, two five. or three minutes. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to get garbage into the DeLorean. Right, I'm just like, remember, this is an 80s movie. And every 80s movie, <laughs> dogs can track anyone as long as you give them a personal belonging. What do you know? Any dog can. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't matter. It's like, it, despite the fact Thanks that a dog God. actually needs to be really spe specially trained. Yes, that is their life goal, is to sniff things. And then track it halfway across town. Oh, man. Like, this wasn't close by. No, no. This was far enough that you had to use your okay, skateboard on a somewhere. truck trick to get there. Also, to lead where did the skateboard God, come Rainey? from? And where is it going after this? It's here. Back to the camera dimension. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you can't even use it. It's not even in your yeah, arsenal. Strickland. So Strickland is the name of the principal at his school. Yes. Away from the door! Let me get a look at you. Right, the lady that spends her whole time staring out the window with a yeah. megaphone. Just as I Scat. Scat. Uh, I've got something for you. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. So when what I was listening it? to our bad recording, yes, it was around this part I just randomly skipped to. And, this was... and listen to it, and I'm like, I can't hear a word we're saying. Okay. I just hear her screeching in a megaphone, and us going <laughs> in the background. I'm like, I can't even subtitle this. <laughs> so we were basically the adults from Peanuts. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Ironically, when I told my mom this story, she made the same joke. There you go. <laughs> See? I mean... Like, it's I told one. my mom, oh, this is what we sound like. She's like, have you ever seen Charlie Brown? I'm like, yeah. Yes, yes, I have. Sorry, you sound like the parents. <laughs> have you seen the robot chicken? No. <laughs> Charlie Brown thing? No, what is it? I think it was a ro Well, there was a few ones. One of them actually what? really messed me up when I was younger. <laughs> Well, it's like there's a Charlie um, Brown thing with the great stairs. pumpkin. To return okay. the shoe, I mean. <laughs> the robot chicken I version had it be like a very ago. murderous spirit controlling the pumpkin. And just oh. kept killing all the kids slowly, one by one. Oh. Oh. It's like that's a, that so completely fucked me up when I was younger. Like, well, yeah, I'm I'm having bad dreams about this. This is disturbing. Now. There's a pumpkin oh, that's I killing all the Charlie Brown characters. And actually, I told that story, but what I meant to ask about was the Fairly Odd Parents version. No. No. There was an old Fairly Odd Parents version. Uh, channel Chaser. Channel Chasers. Okay. Where Timmy was for remotes that let him air on TV shows. Yes. And he entered the Charlie Brown universe. Huh. And one of the things. Okay. Uh, and what he did. Sunny. And while there, the parents were doing that wah 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 thing. But Timmy could understand them. And he's like, What do you mean call the police? Hey, <laughs> and like, it just gave oh, really. Dark and scary. He's like, no, what? what Police you... action, lawsuits, what? <laughs> okay. So I know what to do, but first, this is funny. <laughs> is that Vice Principal Strickland? <laughs> Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. That's a lot of extra information that we don't need to know. <laughs> and as you noted before, the fact that he, you were able to recognize your vice principal when they were. Eight yeah. from a black and white photo of them wearing woman's clothing is impressive. Right? I guess if you put the connection together that this is a Strickland, it's True. easier, but still. So these are, she's a hoarder. Don't touch those. Yeah, you can't touch My those. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Jam meticulously organized as in, they're in piles and piles of boxes as they're in boxes on your sofa also your sofa's not pointing at the tv Wait, oh. your tv's over there why is your sofa there well she doesn't leave that little i know but it's like what's the point of having a sofa there to keep the boxes of newspapers but you'd have more room for boxes if there's no sofa then she'd have to bend over this is all at 
True. It's this... a lot easier to lift a 50-pound box that's a foot <laughs> above her head. I'm just saying. Don't try and make sense out of this lady's life, okay? Candy looks older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I think we need to trigger Mind if I something take a look? first. Go ahead, yes, dear. we need to look at this, the store. Man, these are powerful. To I see, can the see date going into the date or the year. Whoa. Well, yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. <laughs> yeah, he's nothing but an out of control hedonist, just like his father. If there's a clue to find a dock out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so no, we need to get information from her. Uh, Mr. Yes. About yes. the fire. Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree. I wonder how many things she has to say about people outside. Yes. Right? It's like there's a lot of things. How does she know anyone's name if she doesn't leave this spot? Remember when you lost your shoe? I assume she shoe. listens, or she just names them there. herself. <laughs> Hey, I mean, she also collects every newspaper, shoe. so if anyone ever showed up in a newspaper, Hi, she's seen the photo of her. No she was avoiding for a long time. Bum, True. You know. But, oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh, yes, I, I remember. Right, I she was coming, she's trouble. yelling at you for asking uh, about the no. shoe that you brought to her. What was it? Oh, yeah. yes. Doesn't even make sense. The speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? There's a lot of hate in, in that Valley? Place. Don't act so surprised, yeah. young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. She talks very slow. Sin she really does. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was found. I mean, it doesn't help that we played this last week. <laughs> so it's like, it's even slower because we know what she's going to say. Yeah. Um, I think that's the information we need. No. We need to know wow, where it was. Easy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Whoa. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town. Well, Posted now when from by gangsters. Wait in their beds. Gangsters with an A Z. Yeah. So where was it? I mean, that now it's sort of run by down, uh, I mean. one. That was ages ago. I should actually bleep that because I don't You're want people to know where I live. You're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Well, student of in history, the area where we live, it's highly possible Andy. that... Yeah, yeah. It's not... I wouldn't say run by... Well, I wouldn't necessarily say gangsters either. Oh, Strickland? Oh, video store! <laughs> I mean... I mean, huh? the family. Geezy used maybe. to be hidden in plain sight <laughs> down there in the town square. Let's just drop this right? one. Is, uh, <laughs> it's looking video like a no-go situation. Hey, worst that can happen. happen. Is that get more views on the video? Store building must have gone up. You're right. Speaking. Worst that can happen. Worst case is an error. Following year, hmm. as I recall. Oh wait, the year. Oh wait. Uh, well, we need to look through the binoculars to find it. Right. Don't let me keep you from your business. So since we completely talked over it, I'll make the comment I made last week going to the video, and then recap what she said. Okay. Hmm. So the comment was the fact that she acknowledges the fact that her generation was also shitty yes but she maybe not her necessarily but her generation was yes whereas a lot of times older generations will go oh my generation was awesome it's all your guys's faults it really, it's... she at least acknowledges that yeah my generation was pretty shit not me personally my but generation. my generation was yeah so i mean it's baby steps yeah. or old lady steps <laughs> old lady steps in the right direction so now we can check out the video store, check out Biff, check out porn. I mean, you can't see it. I was well, she called him a hedonist. That's true. Rebuilt so now we have the February, year. 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? Mm -hmm. I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Ha! Well, I mean, she won't be saying that in a little bit. Bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> um, so now, what do we have to do next? I know we have to get her out. That's through here. But yeah. do we have to get the actual dates after? Um, or do we just find it in there because we can narrow it down by the year? She keeps yeah, it we narrow it down. So you just look through the newspaper. <laughs> yeah. So the whole thing with him saying, "Oh, I need a date," a bit of a red herring because right you don't need that information. Teeth. 
and don't touch anything. You, need the... you just need the date, and then you can check the newspapers from there. Uh, no, he needs the exact date. Right, but you get that from the newspapers. It makes it sound Let's as though see. On you sight need of the speakeasy. date to check Singer the newspapers. Vanishes. Oh, it's slightly misleading. The lights got crowd, it, got it. Soup kitchen or exposed. it was for me, because that's how I translated go. it. Speakeasy, okay. arsonist slain. Because I read that, it's like, oh, I now need to date to figure out which newspaper I've checked. It's like, night when a mob descended no, you on the have, Valley police yeah, you have the, the suspect in the speakeasy the arson case. A drifter they gave you too much information to make you think that the information you already have is not enough. It's dark. Doc. By a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. So something we did do this episode because I just did it all in one try. Whereas papers. you did it like five tries. Sorry, Mr. Yeah. Uh, let me Is you could just keep sending you her back into the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> make, so your, <laughs> make your thing the tea kettle kind of boiling. And she never realizes that the done. water, that the heater's not on. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, I hear her whistling. Oh, it's not done yet. It's still stone cold. Huh. Oh. What's whistling? <laughs> also, I'm not attacking you. A, you let me in your house of your own volition. B, I didn't attack you. I just sort of dropped some newspapers. <laughs> C, she said something about, you know how long it'll take to fix this? I'm like, it'll probably take like an hour. They're... Honestly. Marty, I mean, A, they didn't get that been, messed son? up. And what are you doing okay. in that B, you're organizing them by dates. It doesn't take that long. It really doesn't. If you've ever were a clerk or you yeah know, and you were a journalist like come on doesn't... <laughs> also most of them are still probably in the boxes yeah so nothing actually got messed up uh he asked me why we're dressed this way um you said a costume for school play i did i'm dressed up for halloween party it's not it's a costume uh tonight's the big uh halloween party halloween party in <laughs> may <laughs> Never mind, you don't have to explain. <laughs> Again, he's so high you constantly. Know what you're he's, doing. he's like, right. Halloween of May. I hope yeah, so. that makes sense. Hey, yeah. sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Oh, man. Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely Is that know foreshadowing? Um, no. Okay. Ready to go, Einstein? I don't think we meet... No, yeah, we do. We meet his grandpa. Yeah. Yeah, I was... Yeah. Uh, time circuits. Time circuits? Uh. Uh, flux capacitor. Uh, flux <laughs> Fluxy. Time circuits are already on. Okay, cool. Alright. Okay. I was using the wrong If Doc's going to be killed on June 14th, 1931, <laughs> I'll just show you Well, I was using before. the left one. It's the right one to get him out. selection. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Let's go... What? I was like, where do you get the amount of space necessary to reach 88? I mean, he goes to the highway. Oh, right. I was like, he seemed pretty, uh... I mean, he could just go back to the mall again. That's true. I mean, it's also the type of thing where he has a time machine. So he could literally just drive off anywhere and spend like a week looking for a good place. And then just time travel back to five minutes after he left that location in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, no, wait, you're right. There's a lot of things you can do with time machines. It's like as long as he doesn't meet himself, it won't cause a paradox. Hmm. Oh, right. Right, this part. Now we're back to gangster times with the Tommy gun. Uh, <laughs> you have your phone right? Yes. When was the Tommy gun created? Well, no, I know that Tommy Guns were in this era, this Prohibition era. Yes. I was just wanting to look up where Hill Valley was, what states. Okay. Right for the cops started shooting at a random vehicle that. Right, it's like, oh, this car just materialized in front of me. I'm going to shoot it. California. California, okay. So what I'm wondering, like, I know Tommy Guns were popular in the Chicago area. Oh, yes. Like, Extremely. They're, that's why they're called Chicago Typewriters. Mm -hmm. that's, the other, <laughs> that's the other name for them. I didn't know that. I like that. Well, if you've ever played Resident Evil 4, it was one of the unlockable weapons, the Chicago Typewriter. It was just an unlimited machine gun that could one-shot just by anything. That sounds awesome. It was really funny. But yeah, it's a Chicago Typewriter. So I was wondering how popular Tommy Guns were 
elsewhere. In, in elsewhere, like in other gangsters around the country. Huh. I mean, I know it wasn't limited Einstein. to here, here but now, how relevant were they throughout the country? Right. Yeah. That's. It's like that seems to be their weapon of choice here. Hmm. I'm wondering how accurate that is necessarily. Hmm. Also, the fact of the matter is, like, it's another thing that I didn't mention right then. But when he was shooting, somehow he shot the side of the cop car when he was when in was, front of him. Yeah, when he was shooting straight back. Yeah, you, know. you know, he didn't shoot the window. No. Where the cop was. No, he's he's what we like to call a bad uh, stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hit the. Broad side of a barn. Yeah. As an additional interesting thing, this is back in like the 20s or 30s or whatever. Yes. 30s, yeah. Uh, most young cars man. didn't actually have seatbelts. So that Ooh, cop that crashed me? probably died. You're the only man oh! The street, and I'm looking for a oh! In the street reaction. Why isn't that, that on the news? The that this, this reporter's mind. Establishment? I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten also, long years, namely rid Hill I, Valley I of the I still wonder if it matters America. what name you choose. Uh, oh, that makes a huge difference. Because I mean, uh, I'm a supporter. I'll do Mark the same me thing down as said. a supporter. Okay. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Virile. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters? I mean, she who literally hits on streets? everyone. No, doubt no yeah, you're right. To corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery. Uh, what did you say? Do you remember? I'm coming after him. Yeah, tell him go ahead, make my day. Because she doesn't make understand. Your day what? Make your day what? It's like, oh, right. That's the same that they come from until like the I'll 70s. I'll play around with it and yeah. see if I can come up with something better, Mister. May I get your name? Yeah, so. It's... Last time, we wanted to choose Sonny Crockett. We did choose Sonny Crockett. We had the mouse over it. We hit enter. And then we're pretty sure he said Sonny Crockett. But then somehow ended up being Michael Carleon. Yeah, because I was like, wow, that one's the closest to Marty. I'm not choosing that one. Right, so we chose Sonny Crockett and somehow ended up being Michael. Yeah, I don't... Whereas the first time I played the game, I was Harry Callahan. Oh. Okay. Let's try Sonny again. Okay, I'm on Sonny. Sonny Crockett. I'm hitting A. Okay. Sonny Crockett. He says Thank Sonny you Crockett. For sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Crockett. We'll Innocent see if it sticks. Or there's just a glitch in the game that prevents me from... Being Sonny Crockett? I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. And Marty's Maybe just terrible at time oh, travel. He really is. I know it's He's like, oh yeah, I know you. I met you, you know, better. uh, 50 years in the future. Yeah. Marty, come on. He assaulted me once before. It's got into you. Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. I feel like Marty doesn't grasp the whole concept of uh, where he is. So now what just happened is something I explained to you afterwards. Yes. It's like, normally when there's a cutscene and they show something, you need to go there. Yeah, that's where they want you to be. Because last time you're like, okay, I have no idea where to go. And I'm like, well, in the cutscene, they show the prison very prominently in the background. That's true. There's okay, I can run now. Oh, yeah. So another thing is the fact that they make you cross in the crosswalks. Because if you don't... Because if you don't, in the cutscene, you got almost hit by a car. Exactly. So they set up in the cuts in the cutscene a reason to cross in the crosswalk. And yeah, I'm totally seeing what you're talking about with the controls now. Every time the screen changes. No, yeah, every time the screen changes, the controls don't. It's like I'm holding up and moving left. I'm like, ah, it's hard to aim. Yeah. It's not even once I move to the left, it fixes it. I need to no, stop you have moving. To, yeah, you have to let go. Doc! <gasps> Marty! Doc! Marty! Doc! Marty! Doc! Marty! Doc! Marty, Doc. Marty, Doc. Same for me, Doc! Marty! Alex! <gasps> Marty! <laughs> oh, that's a that's an automatic retrieval system, of course. That was Madagascar. Oh, about that. oh. That's like Madagascar three or something. Uh, we don't need a plan. Oh, I mean, 
not in a the movies. The police picked me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they were okay the movies. movies. There are no Shrek. <laughs> of course, nothing is Shrek. Neither Shrek 3 was Shrek. No. <laughs> Shrek 3 was, yeah, Shrek 3 was the really bad one. Sorry about that. Happily never after. It's so wonderful to see you. It was the yeah, one where he had got Prince up. Arthur. Yeah, you oh. Hold off on that is that the third one? Yeah. The first one's obviously Shrek. The second yeah. one Shrek two is has Fairly Godmother and Prince Charming. Yes, that's a good one. And the fourth one is where he makes a wish on a Rumpelstiltskin to change time. Oh right. So the third one was like not awesome. Okay. In my opinion. Oh um. Uh. What? <laughs> Let's oh, make a stand. Oh yeah, I showed him. Oh yeah, we're going to get killed. Uh, Let's so. alert the authorities. Why do we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship, They'd ship you? Oh. Off to the loony <laughs> <Lundy Lundy. laughs> Don't want to see the inside of a 1931. I mean, I'm sure now. I can find. <laughs> Rule 34 of Marty and Doc, but Ooh, let's not. I'm sure we do not want to find... Let's not find that sh that slash fiction, please. No, thank you. Blank in the description. No, <laughs> thank you. Uh, do I have to go through everything? Why don't I take the uh, no, DeLorean, we gotta go make back in time before you were arrested, Dan. and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Paradox, think about it. Yeah. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Opposed to the paradoxes Jeez, that back don't together shatter for five the continuum. Minutes, Doc. Yes. We're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Like the one he Marty. says later on. Right. The end of the universe as we know it. I guess I could break you out of jail. Well, I suppose I, I could guess. just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's that's it. it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. Why? I haven't built it yet. Helpful. Lost me, Doc. Listen, I mean, a few months ago, my And we also have time machine. sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. I'll be honest, you getting McDonald's and me smelling it now making me really hungry. I offered you. I know, but I also should not <laughs> even... Minute, you want oh yeah, McDonald's. It, it destroys my digestive crap, crap man. To build a uh, okay, drill okay, to break okay. You out of jail? Well, like last week I had... <laughs> McDonald's for lunch because we went there. <laughs> then I think I had an Angus burger for dinner. Oh. And then I, no, I had Culver's for dinner. Okay. And I had an Angus burger for lunch the next day, and then I had beef tacos for dinner that night. Oh. It's like I had burgers three meals in a row followed by more beef. Huh. Oh. Yeah, I see that. That could be rough. Oh, uh, what about space time continuum? Don't talking to yourself cause you know irreparable damage to the space time continuum yeah. or something. It should be fine. It All should be fine. Yeah, the rocket drill. You've just got to go, my younger self, into finishing the prototype. <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over fifty years Hopeful. ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got I it. mean, I understand. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. <laughs> uh, speaking of. <laughs> yeah, we were just like, why can't you talk to prisoners? Right, it's like, if you're going to put Don't the prison shut I'll cell get you out of here in no time. Uh, adjacent worry. to the Once streets you know my self, put and have bars together, facing the street. Why would you care if anyone was talking to the prisoner? Hmm. Like that just does that makes zero sense. It really does. Wait. Soup does, kitchen. Yes. There's still guy here. Yeah, I miss guy. I was standing in front of the door bar and Aaron answered I you had have to, to back, back up, up to get to the door. Get to the hit detection box. Yeah. Cool. Don't you know? It makes sense. Oh look, Artie. Looks familiar. Yes. I recognize those drooping eyelids. <laughs> oh, similar hand Why? things. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Kid. There's a lot of things you don't notice when you're playing, as oh, you realize. Huh. What are you doing out here? 
is neat. Well, I was getting kind of hungry. So every time I, I start thinking I'm hungry, everything in the show, everything in the game I play starts talking about food. food. We're in a soup kitchen. The He's kind of hungry. Like Babe Ruth. I don't what know. happens in other games I play too? Really? It's like I'm playing that. I think to myself, I'm hungry. Picture, I'll eat after this. And then trouble. immediately, food, 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 everywhere in the game. Like, stop. So you're saying is we Would should go to you? the Luncheon Kingdom uh, in Super Mario no, Odyssey? Of course Ugh. not, kid. <laughs> All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Uh, Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Yeah. Well, the soup. Well, what? You didn't even give him any. What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the just safe run house. Run back to the safe house. Do back. That. Little and dance of finger guns. Yes. Finger guns that are always the way flashy. to go. Especially you to your boss who kills people with Tommy guns. Uh, Finger guns. Finger guns. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come out until I give you the all clear. I right, swear. the all if clear. Even oh, could man. Add two plus two without your fingers. Yeah, you're remembering everything about this lake. episode now. Hey. Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't Ooh. let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. I hope somebody comes in and burns down the shop right now. Guy, our good friend. Hey, what's friends. up, Guy? I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his time. How many times have we talked to him? Uh, we tried like eight or nine times. <laughs> Different occasions, each time being like, hey, is this the time? Why is he there? I don't know. If you can't talk to him. And like he's too well dressed to be homeless? Yeah. Maybe he's just to have a, like, the place look uh, filled. Hi. Uh, do you know Maybe he's one of those people that was in Doc's house in the future that disappeared. One <laughs> of just... the workers? <laughs> no, there there are people shopping. Oh, it was an estate sale. Have you ever been to a estate oh, yeah. sale? Oh, no. Doc never told they, me he worked at the courthouse. Have look around and... Yeah, like you put up everything in the house for sale. I think they just told us where Doc was. I wasn't paying attention. Then. Uh, he By the works. courthouse, I assume. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah there's right. estate sales in the area sometimes where. Everything in the house is for sale, including the house. Interesting. So you just show up and go, oh yeah, I want this table. Cool, here you go. Oh. Stop. Yeah, remember, it's uh, weird controls. Yeah. But I know that one time we went, uh, my family went to an estate sale, and we literally just, we bought the paneling off the wall. Oh. Because we, not here, not for this house, a different house that we... Um, rent. Oh. But it's like, oh yeah, we Touch bought the those. paneling off These a wall and then put up in our house. Is supposed to handle them, but sworn officers very of the court. It's like you I could mean, just get anything Judge at the estate sale. So. so those other people there were buying Judge stuff Brown? from the estate sale. Huh. Uh, huh. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael. Uh, it's good thing they didn't buy his See, Michael Carolina said it. Brown. It did. What the I'm fuck? A clerk, not a doctor. We, oh, please get out of we chose. clearly sh chose it. And we even talked out. about choosing it. Like, this game is actually glitched where we can't pick that name. I want Sonny Crockett. Okay, so let's see if I can just uh, skip the entire thing. Oh. It's gonna be like, why would you need to do that? Nope, it just doesn't. Okay. H to the A multiplied by nice. The so this took you about five A minutes, I think. A, uh, quite a bit. Because you talked to him, went through every dialogue option, talked to Doc, went through every dialogue option, and you're like, what do I do? <laughs> and you're like, you can record his voice. And I was right. like, wow. <laughs> Which, like, to be fair, the first time I played it, I didn't realize either. Because I'm like, oh, well, this... Voice recorder has an important message on it. I probably shouldn't record over it. Yeah, right. <sighs> I mean, I didn't Dad, even think that far. Marty, well, that's that was my thoughts. Uh, um, I recorded your muttering. Why? <laughs> so, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A H. So normally you're supposed to talk to Emmett, young Emmett. <gasps> yes. And then go me? back to Doc Brown, and he so says, oh, no. if only we, I can I hear the muttering, I can tell what problem he was I working on. And then you're supposed to figure out, oh, I'll record it. Yeah, but what it's supposed to be the whole about? back and forth. Yes. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. 
But won't giving them the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. Yeah, makes sense. Of so, course. It'll be fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure what he just said, described was a video game. Yeah. You know, it's a hologram onto the membrane. It's like, that's just... That's what this is. <laughs> Uh, let's hang skip in there, over. Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. <laughs> hang in there, because <laughs> people get hanged. Oh. Well, now we gotta go talk. Now, we, yeah, now we go talk to Emmett and say, Hamilton! The Hamilton... Hamiltonian! Watch, I bet he forgot it. Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. Oh, we didn't actually do this yet. Oh, right. Go. There we go. The H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Just skip over just everything, I don't it. care. I said maybe right? H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> of course. That's, That's so That's simple. That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all I mean, week. I'm sure you him that one bit of information. In a day or two. Solve the whole well, problem. Out how to build that right. Like, he could have done it without it. Where did you learn so much about science? Uh, I'm from the planet Vulcan. So, this is before Star Trek. We chose this one, I think. Yes. Because this is the only one that doesn't make you sound like a lunatic. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's like this. You know about but he doesn't care. Drive. Yeah, I was well, like, it didn't even matter. <laughs> what? You're from the Which is why office. they probably gave you I all the weird I operas. I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Uh, again, this doesn't really this, matter. Yeah, because really. I shows I really you need a rocket power drill. Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. And this also doesn't matter if you say all three of them. Yeah. Now, that's no good. I need to see a full size model. Oh. That's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It and now this was the point done. where I said, oh, I mean, Hank McCoy from the X-Men. Most, most likely, Dr. McCoy from Star Trek. I'll get it for Which you. is probably what the one it was since Vulcan earlier. Right. And, you know how difficult and there's too many Dr. McCoys. Right, it's like, Especially why are so many smart doctors easy. named McCoy? Besides, no way I can get off work until I've I, and I'm assuming Hank McCoy from X-Men was based off the Star Trek. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power Probably. today? Probably. Yes. Is it vitally could important be. you deliver that subpoena I could just be a coincidence. Yes. Listen, I'll help you deliver it, Nothing's and I'll see when you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> now with time travel. get that drill finished by tonight. <laughs> Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Deal. All right. Sorry, right, we need to deliver a subpoena. Okay, subpoena my grandpa? <gasps> It's and you just say that, oh, this is my grandpa. I'll allow wow this guy. He's like, I, I just he's like, kitchen. kid? <laughs> oh, look, over there. I'm surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's and go talk to him. Was like, no. Why not? Keep Marty, time travel. Right? Censor yeah, yourself a little. A he, doesn't, he does not get it. They just mentioned Chicago somewhere in there. Did they? Yeah. Something about Chicago hustle, I think. Oh, okay. So now we need to both uh, get alcohol delivered to his house and subpoena Art, um, Artie McFly. Yes, but do you need to talk to Edna first? I don't think so. We'll find out. Um. Oh, right. Reserve for charity. So things that we find out when we talk hey, to Edna. What? Edna. The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of uh, uh, soup. soup. Soup? Soup? Well, yeah. uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Is that the special soup is right. alcohol? And they're using this as a cover to deliver alcohol for prohibition stuff. Very inconspicuous. Well, for the record, Kid actually works very fast. What are you doing? Because their previous speakeasy was clearly burned out down yesterday, yes, and they already the bought out the soup kitchen. And, we here to feed these bozos and moved their no operation there. Soup. The boss has got a business like, that was very so fast. It was, and they have this neat little uh, contraption right, right. already pre-made. Well, that was actually part of the thing. That was part of the soup kitchen? Right? Yeah. Well, they, uh, Anna said uh, something about that. I can see why you want to keep this a secret. 
You know, I tell my mom I'm recording, so she stops texting me, and she immediately texts me back. I'm like, I... You know? Ooh, that's, ooh, that's bad, too. Oh. They're fishing right now. Okay. Like, they, um, leave town to go fishing. And... Like, they just left on Saturday. Yeah. And first cast, my dad's reel breaks. And it's, like, a fancy musky reel. Oh. It's, like, it's meant to, like, pull in, like, the big four-foot yeah. fish. $300 reel. And it broke on the first cast. Oh, my God. I'd be... I'd be mad. Yeah, well, I think that's what I said. I sort of scanned it, scanned it while also playing. Huh. Oh, yeah. Well, it fell apart and then landed in the water. Oh, So it's okay. not just it broke. It, it broke undid. in such a way that they can't even get the pieces back. Uh, dang. Yeah. That sucks. That, that's uh, quite unfortunate. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. I mean... Hey, Emmett, help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. He doesn't get it. When did football started before this? And doesn't he make a comment later about he's the Flash or something like that? Oh, yeah. So he's good at sports. Hmm. How, do you, how does he not know Huddle? Maybe huddling up. Emmett, I can't didn't get into the door over yet. there. Those tables are jamming it shut. Maybe. Uh, maybe. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Yes. Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get Marty's that door eyeballs open. are very reflective. I can't do anything from they that are. here. Well, let's it's like, about that's... A lever, some sort of stop. It's Let me see the what light reflecting with. off that picture, reflecting off his eyes. But it's still, like, super reflective. So we walk over here. Eureka! And then he texts it, okay. We just had to get... We literally have to wait until that's that door outside, is a, yeah. outside of here. Because they want, didn't want to render the actual movements. Outside of the cutscene. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's so like the moment the screen changes is when you get Eureka. That's silly. Okay. Something you probably didn't notice when you were playing. I was confused. I was like, why did it make me uh, go over here? Excuse me. But now that makes yeah. sense. Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? That, do that doesn't answer my question. I mean, last time you didn't give me a bowl. Well, I mean, not this playthrough, but... <laughs> yeah. If you come in here before this point as for soup, he just ignores you. Yeah. It was rude. The guy got soup, but I didn't. Yeah. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was going to say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this... I'm checking to make sure it's still recording. ...barrel and got spice it, got rack it. that hadn't been restocked since... I would the hate to do this a third time. <laughs> what do you think I should do to perk oh, this slop up? Let's see. Then it try. would be a... <laughs> Back to the future speed through... <laughs> so... This doesn't matter what we pick. Yeah, it, it's all the same. But I do sort of want to see... What happens when you keep adding salt? Yeah, just see how much salt you can add. <laughs> Before it's too late. Salt. salt. Salt? Salt. Salt? What, do you think it's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? Because, like, you could just keep sending the soup back and just kind of keep adding in in ingredients. <laughs> I, I want to get to the point where it's just a pile of salt with soup on the side. <laughs> I think it might be one of those situations in which you can constantly choose the same response and they'll give you the same. Probably, but it would just be funny. It would. Knock, knock, knock. So yeah, because he knocked the pipe earlier and saw the platform <clears throat> go down because he honestly didn't care. Yeah, right. That you were just standing there watching him. It's like, I, I'm standing right here. You were smart enough to censor the word... Soup. S uh, or... Special soup instead of saying alcohol. Oh, but why would you not care that I had access to your soup? secret thing? Come now, and why Mr. do you Darwin. not notice that things you know tilted over? That's what I was. I, I could never decent. understand. I mean, he's not a smart person, I guess. But... So dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Oh, avoiding sex joke, but. Because she said the word can. Boss, yeah. She says hello. I'll just bet you will. So Edna delivers um, no normal soup to various charities. Edna picked yes. up the barrel of hooch. 
Now all you have to do is to get. So now we just tricked her into picking up um, Nat's soup. Well, no, we gotta get. Well, we tricked her into picking it up, and now we yeah. need to get her to deliver it. Yeah, we need to get it to her to deliver it to Doc. Yes, Doc Emmett Brown's place. Because uh, he needs soup to make uh, alcohol. Shame. Yes, I'm, I'm holding up right now. <laughs> yeah. Controls are uh, hey, uh, Miss interesting, to say the least. Oh, hello, Mr. Yeah. Corleone. I'm not Corleone. Why do you call me Corleone? I definitely I'm introduced myself as something else. Sonny Crockett to her. Business, say. This game is actually glitched. Yeah. I was... Like, if it was stuck on Callahan, I'd say it was my previous playthrough. But it wasn't. To be fair, my brother played this game on my Steam account, so maybe he chose that. He chose that the first time. But even then, I don't know why it's not getting... Yeah, if it's resetting everything else, it even gave you the option. <sighs> Whatever. Um, what's the scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors heard? that something shady <laughs> is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. It's like she is a very nice person. Yeah, well, stay she's sober her heart's, generous. Her heart's in the right place. Uh -huh. They do the most marvelous work. Taking and it's the type of thing where she does and turning them earnestly want to help people. And she's not doing, like, for political members. gain or things. Yeah. She yeah. actually does want to help these people. Anyway, okay. She's just a bit too overzealous. Of Mercy soup okay. And for for she's reason, trying to apply her own morality to everyone. Yes, she wants everyone to be just like her, which is... I know a place become. to stay so yeah. society can be. where she becomes overbearing and annoying. Yeah. But her heart's in the right place. Okay. The Brown residence. We did it! I'm yeah. Brown so I'm not even paying attention with her yeah. saying I just remember. I no, yeah, so I got it. And he's told me the judge would love to lend his place up for, you know, good We're causes a bunch like of, yours. Uh, really? Why, that's the most stay sober generous society. public spirited Good. offer I've received yeah. in a month Word. of Sundays. Wasted. Please tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Uh, and then you make soup deliveries. soup deliveries. It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I mean, you already did I pick the up thing. Barrels of hot soup at the kitchen well, I need to tell her to deliver to, to deliver the soup there now. The you already did. No, I told her that's where they could meet. Children. You need to oh, right, 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 right. Incurably insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Um, I can help deliver. Yeah, I can help you deliver soup. Yeah. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The uh, so Mario Brothers. Ah, brothers. <laughs> uh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. Oh, hey, man. I know they're in town. So I can pick up prick. the barrels of soup. That's just because they're named Mario? Horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle That's in this true. town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions, I like how she has a monopoly yeah. on the soup. You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Uh, I know a charity that needs soup. As a matter soup. of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? The Stay Sober Society. Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, wow. and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Thanks for the exposition. Huh? Right? Right there. Who? Michael. What in the name of Thomas My name's Alva Edison Sonny do you think you're doing? Crockett. Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can so we might have missed the conversation. Which one? Deliver it right to your door. A lot of them. <laughs> Out of the question. But when you talk to uh, Doc Brown in the jail, he mentions that he has people? very, he had very little um, really interaction polite. with Edna. Yes. Know that. It's like I think we skipped that this playthrough. They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well. Okay, but a pop needs his peace so and quiet at the end of the day. That's why this is like the initial sure foreshadowing of for him. Wait, yeah. she's literally going to his house. It's not a little intera <laughs> interaction for a huge introvert like Emma Brown. Okay. They'll be quiet. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh yes. I play my tambourine very soft. Which I, still doesn't you seem possible. Yeah, I think that was the joke. But what? 
But it's, it's a tambourine. Impossible. You can't play it quietly. <laughs> okay, forget the whole thing. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. See, he remembers Wait. that fine. Yeah, right? Like, he... Once he comes up with a lie, he could stick to it. But he but, doesn't. But he's not good at you will thinking of the, the lie of initially. <sighs> they come he's always sign. like, "Hmm." When you are Emmett Brown, I'm I from the future. Much. You have such a let me uh, say that. Oh no, I shouldn't <laughs> right, say. I shouldn't say I'm from I the future. Right, hang on. I should not say I'm Thank from the future. Um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. Oh wow. Again, she flirts with everyone. That's true. I've got a bad feeling about this. Are you worry too much, Emmett? So the first time we talked to Emmett Brown, now and he said, Oh yeah, I need alcohol. And we're off to build your rocket Ten seconds later, I asked, Okay, Is so what do you need? You're like, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I, was, I could not. There was a lot going on. You're just like, what did he say you needed? And I was just like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot happening. Yeah. We gotta get the hat. Yeah, I know. I'm there. Sorry, boys. No, I skipped over. Get, out of, here. get, get out, out of here. Get out of here. I like how it's one word. Yeah, get out of get here. Get out of here. You a shoe shine booth, you walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Guess I'm here to shine shoes. So this also took you um, a few tries. It did. Uh, I'm not sure where I need to. What You're I need to looking. Do. Looking from Arthur McFly. Back to go. Oh, yeah, that's he's his hat. Uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy hey, today. You know what they say work over family. Yeah. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my right. peanut bowl. <laughs> uh, can I sell those peanuts? Can I have some Did peanuts? Kiss his boot. No. Why not? They just put I'm a the thing down. Put the thing guy. down. Yeah. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Uh. What the hell hey, is that? Kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? He's not smart. Hey. No, he's really not. I, I still like how this you do? barrier is what separates him from them. I, I think it's the pants that they're wearing. It's like the, since they're wearing like the dress pants, they don't have as much mobility to jump over it. I mean, it's like the weird parachute dress pant thing. True. Have you ever tried jumping on fancy dress pants? It's not easy. <laughs> I mean, I've done it, but it's not easy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at those See? moves! Look at those clearly football moves. How do you not know what a huddle's called? That's true. Oh, darn them. Darn them, they clearly got on that train. Or monorail. That conveniently time on. Are cannon. they monorails? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, is that what they're called? Trams. That, I think. I think it's a trolley. Trolley, tram, something. Because it's not that you can clearly see two rails. Ah, right. <laughs> it's probably a trolley or a, or a tram or a tram. Maybe. I keep calling. I keep saying monorail. Well, I had that then. song from The Simpsons stuck in my head all the time. Which they one? Monorail. <laughs> monorail. <laughs> Monorail! Nice. Mono. Go! Because <laughs> Homer starts doing another first, and everyone else stops. He's like, God damn it. God. Okay, okay. And now we gotta get the hat to. To Einstein, because this is an 80s movie, and dogs can track everything. Despite the fact that this hat has been possession of a different human being. Covered in food. Covered also. in peanuts for the past while. I will clearly take this sec, to the person who was wearing it, hey and not the local grocery store to pick house? up peanuts. No, yeah, of course. Where is he going? Only one way to Where find out. Where is he going? Oh, oh! God forbid he sees an old man in a jail shop. So. Yeah. So now this is the same you. place as where Edna lives in the future. Yes. And since Edna can see the video store, which was built on the ruins of the old speakeasy, this is literally just across the street. Yes. Which... <laughs> so it's like a huge show to get here. But it's like, 
it's just across the street. Okay. Beep. So I think I need to do this first before getting a recording. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Who is it? It's McFly! Yeah, who I know. is it? Uh... Yeah, talk to him. Hey, yeah. Arthur! Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? Uh... We are the law! Oh, no. We're family! Because I'm a terrible I'm a liar. Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, <laughs> but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. I'm, I'm impressed Some that you did that time. math. The family math that has had so yeah, quickly. It's like, wait, second cousin? It's like, oh, you're my grandmother's second nephew? That means you're my second cousin. It's like, how do you know that? <laughs> like, off the top of your head. I mean, some people just got family trees down. It's impressive. But it's just so weird that they got that so easily. So quickly? Yeah. It happens. Some people are really good at silly things. Yeah, true. So now I need to go get chased by Tanum again. Uh, run! Run. Uh, controls. Look, you can literally see it in the background. This way. Look. You can see look, that's yeah. it. Right there. <laughs> it's just right across the it's street. It's right there, huh? It's very convenient. Yeah. Convenient that everything necessary it's is located right in this well, one block well, radius. Look who's back. <laughs> of this they park. say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. That's uh, not what they say at all. Get him matches. Why is he called Matches? Maybe he holds a lot of matches. Is he the arsonist? <gasps> well, you burned down the speakeasy. Wait, what? Wait. And actually, Doc Brown, I think, admitted that he did it. Look at those jumps. And for some reason, there's no dialogue. Dialogue. There. There's also another time where there's no dialogue. Yeah. Get down, Get down from, there. from there, you son of a bitch! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Cool, thanks. Wait, you don't find anything suspicious about that? Well, this Einstein. was before tape recorders were a thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Guy on a roof, you're yelling at him, reaches for something in his pocket, points it at you. It wasn't a gun. Go on, scream! Could, could he tell? And they are gangsters. Hey! Wouldn't they be Where'd even more go? frightened then? And to be fair, I'm also not sure how away, big, like, small guns were at the time. True. Okay. Like, it's possible that there weren't any, like, guns, guns. that small. I mean, pistols have been around for a while. Right, but how big were they? Like, even, like, flintlock pistols were pretty big. Okay. And remember, this is 1930s America, not, you know, 2000s America. True. Not everyone has a gun. It's very true. Yeah. Just saying. In the world we grew up in, yeah, if I saw someone pull a small black object out of their pocket and point it at me, I'd be concerned. Right? But back then, it's like, oh, someone has a gun? That's not, that's not likely to happen. <laughs> that's not right. Well... What now? And now I go X. Here you go. And there it is. See, I figured out that part. <laughs> and that's the next part you messed up on. It is. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down you here You would totally right be now. able to see them. This kid. Right away, boss. The McFlies aren't smart. Uh. <laughs> Like, Where's no generation kid? of them is actually smart. <laughs> Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into... Kid you Tannen? just got served! Get you can't get rid of it, oh, no. That'll be McFly. funny in 70 Once years. <laughs> when they make a movie called You Got Served and they only say it once so in the entire thing, it's about dancing. Arrest. <laughs> you just got served. Kid will kill me. There's, really? Yeah, there's a movie called You Got Served, and it's about a dance competition. 
And they only say you got served one time at the very end of the movie. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Maybe it was building up to that moment. But this was like... Several years after you got served, stop being a commonly used phrase. Um, <laughs> they still came out with a movie. Well, we served the subpoena and got okay. a barrel of booze delivered like, to your house. Ugh. Looks like we're off to your lab. Hollywood, to why? Your <laughs> uh, you so reflective. Have a lab, they right? really are. What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. Now for the part that gave you a lot of very frustrating Stop. troubles. It really, it really I did. The, the controls were finicky. It clicked a lot. Let's go. It just I messed up sometimes. Lab. That happens. <laughs> the wording was tricky. Well, yeah, there's there's one thing in particular that's tricky wording. Yeah. Are you sure this is gonna work? So one of my favorite puzzles. Don't let the it's really cool. Nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, yeah, we'll see, soon be in yeah, possession of the most It's a drippy bit, there's the uh, lightning part, pencil sharpener. That's great. Hey, how? Well, it's very simple. Uh, I think the fish tank was also in the, the house. Into the oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Hydrogen, which must we didn't be look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was there. Okay. That's interesting. While tending to the it might have been we'll above also need a bulb. Einstein's protein flakes into this bowl. aquarium of tuber bacteria this to generate better. the necessary nitrogen oh. to catalyze the reaction. So, like, so everything cool. in this room was oh, in the that thing back then. The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. Does that mean he hasn't built anything else in his? Questions. Thing except for the hat. Yeah. And the line. Uh... Oh. Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Why didn't you tell him? We fancy Moses. It's my father. Right. So? So he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration. That's in not here. the problem here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction. Like, why didn't you tell your them? dad? Hey, the state sober what? society is coming over. It'll look good for your political image. It's too late. Right? That's all you need to say. Don't worry. No. I'll try to help but now you there's a I bunch can. of drunk people out there. And he doesn't know why. <laughs> coming, father. Also, how'd I get sued? Don't you father me, child. She delivered it. How did you get it? How did you get it? Why is there a silhouette of him? Fancy. Pressuring me to but be not the father. <laughs> so imagine all the things you have to be thinking of in order to do this. Would that make you happy? Well, do you mean from Emmett's point of view? Yes. Oh yeah, that's totally impressive. He has to not only think of a way to incorporate a word to signify to you that you're doing things, but he has to actively respond to his father at the same time. Right. While paying attention. Uh, while calculating uh, the things that need to go into this. Yeah, while calculating all the things without actually being in the room. It's, it's insane. It's, a, it's quite impressive. Stop being such a crank! Who wants to get the puzzle going? It's... You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. It wasn't a lawyer. He's got a point. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around uh, like a top. Yeah. Do you have another speed yet? Yeah, that's why I'm like. Ah, First halfway thing. there. So this is part where the dad starts hey, also throwing dude. things in. It's like, God, keep up the good work. <laughs> Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? What are they feeding you? In oh, there's that's helpful. Look like a skeleton. Sunday. My Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Oh, I like how there's oh, different uh, fonts and color too between the dad. Yeah. So even if you didn't have sound, you can still talk. Under the collar, pop. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth? It's the hot air one. That's the one that's we can yeah. use on. I think that's stoke fire. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. So a place to put emphasis. But if it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Von Brauns have been officers of the court. Almost there. Oh, he's a Von Braun. Brown. Amen! 
<laughs> yeah, because the dad just said the Von Browns have been lawyers. Oh. So he's Von Brown. Get, the more I know, I'm That's neat. Right. That's a pretty, pretty cool name. Your wishes. You treat me like common bacteria. I'm trying very hard not to. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, That's Father. The yeah. yeah, well, I'm trying very hard not to click on the I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. <laughs> I like triple checking each time. <laughs> what use is a microorganism oh, for no, long? Oh. One great thing ever I thought that nah. slide was the click. Oh, should be so generated. Me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic jobbly good yeah. Oh, God. The flame. Why won't you release me from that, your yeah, unattainable yeah. expectations? Ooh. Like the thing I was paying attention. Current. The current of this conversation, Father. Why must you always scatter oh, condescension my right. way? Maybe I should just oh, get shoot. struck by lightning. Would that shoot. make you happy? Lightning. Oh, goodness. Okay, first try. You did it, yeah. The first try. So it's a lot easier once I realized you didn't need to actually move. You could just oh, use this to select it? them. You could? Yeah, you just moved the selection icon. Wow. So as long as they were all on the screen, you could just move between them without having to move your character. That made it a lot easier. I feel like that would have been really nice. Yeah, I found that out as I was doing it right now. Huh. What? Why are you putting in so much more stuff? You already told me all of it. Oh. Well, again, he was doing calculations on the fly while having an argument. While trying to have a cohesive argument with someone. Yeah. Huh. And you and I can... And I can take it and go. Ooh. Also, it's the type of thing where it's like... No time. Oh yeah, you know, just put some food in there. In like, how much food is some food? Oh, right. Sprinkle. How much do I need to crank this to generate the proper wide? How much do I need to stoke the flames? How long does the pressure thing... Like, there's so many additional Don't worry about it. Just when I say it, do it. That's how science works. In about, I'd say... A month? I said a month or six weeks, but yeah. I can't. I can't lie. You, huh? We know you can't lie. You're a terrible liar. You're, you're honestly a god awful office. liar. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It's that just, makes it better. It was the only way I can get you to trust me. Yeah, I she need you to trust me, so I'm gonna lie trying. to you. Like I lied to you from the moment we met. To, to both of us. To uh, to just who, completely take advantage of you. I need to save him. I got you into a huge and, argument and with your father, who's your sole caregiver. Because I need this, but I didn't want to. No, yeah, yeah, I I need to, for you. <laughs> I'll get it back to you. I promise. And eighties movie. Eighties. I feel like Marty's just not a inventor. good uh, person. He's not very really good at a lot of things. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Like it was something I was thinking about. What exactly is the dynamic, the character dynamic between right. Marty and Doc Brown? They just know each other. The throttle at about eight. I think it was, that was the part that didn't have dialogue last time. Oh. Hmm. And it was weird. Yeah. So I guess it had the it had the it had the subtitle, but it didn't say anything. Okay, Doc. And it's one thing. It's like the well, there's no real character dynamic here. Doc Brown has a moral compass. Come on, yeah. start. Doc Brown has like common sense. There's no real reason for Marty. Hmm. Because normally when there's a dynamic between a super intelligent person and a not as intelligent person, it's because a smart person is like, um... Emotionally and morally? Yeah. Like, uh, Sherlock and Watson. Yes. Sherlock Holmes is a sociopath. A high-functioning sociopath, yes. meaning that keeping. he can't oh, properly feel emotion. So he team. has John, John Watson, mm -hmm. there to keep him on a moral track, give him a moral compass that he normally doesn't have access to. Paddy okay. wagon intercepted, suspect slain. But this doesn't after him. happen here. How am I gonna yeah, him now? Doc's already got everything right for him. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Yeah, that was convenient. Right, and the bike. Of course, you can't put this in hammer space, whatever. No, right? He's got to hold this one. I'll just steal his bike in front of this police office, police station. Which, for some odd reason, a, a wall was just destroyed in the police station. Why did no one 
No, the the wall didn't get destroyed. There was a large explosion outside the police station. No, yeah, that did happen. A lot of ruckus. Why did no one come out and check? Uh, don't you know it's nighttime? Police are Fair asleep. Yes, seventeen night? cents. Holy shit! Actually, like, wow. And it's just gas, seventeen cents too. It's not seventeen cents a gallon. It's, it's just seventeen cents. You want gas? We got it. Seventeen cents. Thank you very much. So I was saying, like, the dynamic between these two doesn't make any much sense. It really, it doesn't. Like, if Marty was an excellent liar, or as he was smooth, right? You're still in danger. Maybe he's just the able body. But it's like, even if he was, um, no, I need to go that way first. If he was like a scientific student, then you can say that he's there to um, put everything into perspective. Right, normal person terms. Where it's like, oh, I'm a science, I'm like a budding science student. So when you explain things, I'll explain it in simple terms. But. But he's not. No. Anytime Doc says anything science, Mari just goes. What? what? So you're saying this does this? And he's like, yeah. How? How did you even get the hubcap? I forgot. I just pulled it off. When you unscrewed the spare, apparently you unscrewed the hubcap. I don't know. Huh. Okay, so. No, you're you're on the right path. Do I need to distract you first? You, yeah. Well, you gotta see that the keys are. What's he doing here? Oh, there you go. You see the keys. You okay. Can't get them. Ah. Oh, you just need to talk to that yeah. thing. It's a very long stretch of road. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out. I think you have to tell him about Tan. Kid Tan is driving the truck. Pretending, not tanning. Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, Doc. Cop. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Try and get the keys. I guess. Keys. How do I get them? Now talk to him. <laughs> there you go. Keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach him. So I was going to say something about um, like you know Rick and Morty, right? Yeah. You know how they're based off these two characters? Yeah. It's like. Rick and Morty actually have a keys are on the dashboard, but I like can't a reach social them. dynamic. Mm -hmm. You have that. I'll be back. Oh, I need to try it first though. What could go wrong? Okay. Now he needs a distraction. Keep moving. What's the like? Yeah. Rick and Morty has an actual social dynamic where okay. Rick is a drunk and I need a like totally Even not a good me. person. Yeah, and, and Morty's like, "Oh, geez, Rick, you can't, you can't be an asshole." Or it's like, "Okay, fine, <laughs> I'll be nice for your sake because, as your family member, as someone who doesn't want you to be ruined by society, I'll help you out." They have a better social dynamic than these two do. Like they don't. There's nothing about the like pretty much the entirety of their social dynamic is the fact that Doc Brown happened to hire him to record the video in the first place, and then that was about it. Yeah, like that's the entirety of how they know each other. Huh? Yeah, there's no like in the family thing. There's no right, they're not related to each other. There's no. Like, he's not a science student. He's not... Anything. Anything that's in any way useful. See, now, that's what the size of the gun is. Yeah. That's the size of a handgun. Okay. So the tape recorder is only about half that size. Okay. What if it was a snub nose? What if they cut the barrel? I'm making excuses. I <laughs> Sawed off revolver. Son of a bitch! <laughs> It's to save space, come on. Da, 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 da. 
that bike's still upright. I'd like yeah. to point out. It makes zero sense. Why not just shoot Patty? Because you're not a murderer. And? And also that was the extra false paradox. Oh yeah, you're right. Because then, um... Then he would panic. Uh, Biff wouldn't be... Right, Biff wouldn't sustain. Because that's Biff's grandpa. Huh. Which might end up causing Marty and... Yeah, um, Marty's dad and mom to pack the family. Oh, right. Because there's no bully to... Yeah. There's no bully with us. Huh. Somehow we turned the bike around. While full throttle. While full throttle in the back of the truck. Oh, I thought they said shit there. Nope. And again, how strong was that rocket that was able to propel two full grown men that far? Right? And if it couldn't have done that, if it could have just done that in the first place. I feel like it could have easily rammed okay? the, the car off the road. Right? Fine. Like the moment you rear ended the car, it, it been should have been like, like whoa, the car is going like three times as fast now. <laughs> And the wheels on that bike should have been destroyed. Oh, they should have blown out like 1930 wheels. Like I the frame, suspicion. they were pretty sturdy. Yeah. The Those wheels, though, no way. No, not at all. So, what do we do now? They will, they will have disintegrated. Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Okay. Where did he leave Einstein? Uh, Dad? No clue. He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. I'm turning into a ghost. Great Scott! Great. Danny Phantom. He's Phantom. <laughs> uh, I used to have the theme song memorized. The Danny Phantom one? Yeah. It was a good show. It was a good show. That was a, it, was, it was a really yeah. good show. Nickelodeon Danny Phantom? had some good shows. Danny Phantom? My Life as a Teenage Robot? That was okay. Well... Some of the shows What's were good happening? the first few seasons. Oh, yeah. Like, My Life Teenage Robot was good the first few seasons, but then it got weird later on. Yeah. And, like, SpongeBob and Fairly Odd Parents were good the first few seasons, then it got really weird later on. Yeah. No, yeah. It was like Danny Phantom ended when it was still good for the most part. Okay. Except for the one time that they came out with a movie a season before it chronologically happens. Wait. Wait, wait, what? Did I miss that? Yeah. Huh. So we're talking about Fair Danny Phantom now. So there was a movie where there was like a bunch of, there's a ghost plant, a ghost that can manipulate plants growing around. Yeah. And Danny Phantom like goes to meet these um ice ghosts. He's like, oh yeah, you guys need to teach me that ice breath thing. It's like, okay, here you go. And then you use that to feed the go plant ghosts. Okay. But he doesn't meet them for the first time until a season later. like the movie was on Nickelodeon and Before. then the next season is when he actually met those ghosts for the first time and learned about the ice breath powers <laughs> so that movie made so little sense thanks Danny Phantom thanks Nickelodeon you put a lot of forethought into it so anyways that was the game we did it <laughs> yeah we did it again um I swear <laughs> Adios! Yeah. Uh, do the thing that does the thing, lets me know about the thing, and until next time... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you go.